Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Okay, so Pisces, what I see from this situation is an indication of a potential connection that's coming in towards your life, an opportunity. For some of you, there might be love coming into your direction. I'm definitely picking up this is a new energy. There might be an age difference between you and this individual, right? There's a possibility of that. For some of you, this could be an individual that has a different perspective on life. You might be just talking to this individual right now. It might just be, you know, simple conversations. Maybe the two of you are entertaining each other or just keeping each other busy. But there's definitely that indication of a newness of energy. And this might be recent. It might be a few weeks old. It might be a few months old, you know. So I feel like it's relatively fresh energy. And it's something that you're looking at and wondering if it has potential. There's this energy that is connected to this person, which is showing to me maturity and wisdom. So I feel like if they are younger than you, it could be that this individual... You know, they have this young sort of energy. They, they can be older than you in some circumstances. But I do feel like they look at life from this very pure sort of way. And this energy is something that uh, you didn't expect to come into your life, right? I don't feel like you really anticipated it because it's uh, coming forward on the backbone of a relationship that collapsed. And some of you could have experienced this energy where you just don't know you know, what's going to happen next, just because, you know, the relationship you had with this individual from the past, it's some sort of commitment or some sort of relationship that you were hoping to turn into something serious, it turned and fell apart, right? So I feel like you didn't really get what you wanted out of that situation. It wasn't as fulfilling and nurturing as you wanted it to be. You know, things sort of happened in a way in which it uh, didn't really take off. And I'm sensing here that that might have been very shocking in itself. But then when that occurred, I feel like there was this new energy that came into your world. And it was exciting. It was really exciting. So I feel like for some of you, you didn't anticipate it, but it was a pleasant surprise. Now, I see that... You know, for those of you that were in a third party situation or whatever you were dealing with in the past, I feel like you were waiting and waiting and waiting for um, this commitment, this relationship to provide you with that sense of joy, right? This card is definitely indicating that. So if you haven't met this individual yet, they could be on their way to you or perhaps you just need to get out because I feel like the universe is bringing this individual into your life. Now, this particular energy is showing to me that you were really dedicated for this individual from the past. You were really waiting and hoping and praying and wishing and doing whatever it takes to try to get things going and moving in that direction that you wanted it to. But it feels like this energy of where you poured so much of your heart and soul into it that it didn't quite give to you what you wanted from it, right? So that was a difficult energy. I feel like it was truly a difficult energy to... Uh, wrap your mind around like uh, how could things just fall apart or it didn't work out like the way you wanted it to for some of you, you could be still waiting for that individual 
I feel like you got tired of being an option for this individual or just being not so important to them. And that really, it um, started to corrode your self-esteem. And I feel like for many of you, it could be a Pisces, a sun, moon rising. It feels like this energy of where, you know, you are always not so much a priority for this individual. If they're married to someone else, you always felt as if they put the other person first or they didn't consider your needs, didn't consider your feelings like uh, it was very um, difficult in many, many ways. So I sense from that energy, some of you feel bad for yourselves just because you were there waiting in your sense of loneliness. You should have been, you know, getting out there, enjoying yourself. I feel like in third party situations, you should always leave room for your own self. And I feel like many people miss that point because... They get so caught up wanting to win the affection of the other individual because that person is in the middle and you're on the side and you're trying to fight for that. And I feel like the energy, you know, you should balance it out. And that means going out, meeting new people and trying to see if you can find a different connection with the, someone else. You know, balance the energy out because if the person you are dealing with truly wants you, they'll feel a sense of, you know, need or desire to come back into your life, come back into your world and try to solidify that union versus go off and be with their partner, right? So what I'm seeing from this energy here is that there's a sense of, you know, always feeling as if you were not a priority, always basing your hopes on dreams. And it feels as if this energy that you were investing into in the past, it wasn't really to your purpose. It wasn't serving you in the highest good. And for some of you, you may have come out of the situation, you know, feeling like you've won, right? You may have gotten the individual that you've wanted, but for the rest of you, you may have felt as if, well, you're still waiting. And I don't feel like you should continue to wait for a specific person, especially if someone new shows up in your world. I'm seeing here that some of you still want to fight because it feels like, you know, you want to prove something to yourself that you are worth it and that you can win in this situation. And I feel like that's not really needed at this point. I feel like sometimes it's okay to throw in the towel Sometimes it's okay to say you don't want to keep going in the struggle because it feels pointless, it feels hopeless, and you rather have no hope than have hope in a situation that has become so um, deteriorated in its very essence. For a lot of the zodiac signs, I'm picking up changes that are happening as a result of what has occurred, you know, in terms of the planetary alignments and how things have been working. It feels as if people are no longer looking at a situation and um, feeling a sense of belonging to it, it feels as if the energy is changing, like you want to go to a different place, feel something new, belong to a different person. It feels like that sort of energy. You don't want to continue on a path that has not reaped any sort of benefit for you, right? And that's what I'm feeling happening when it comes to the energies. I'm also sensing from the cards that in the situation, because... You're carrying the weight of the situation and it's creating so much of sadness inside of you. You really want to walk away. You really do want to leave. I don't feel like you want to stay here in this situation anymore. Now, I see here uh, that there's a connection that you have to this person from the past. And this connection that you have to the past person, as much as you want to nurture it, as much as you want to go towards it, it feels like you have to be very stern. You have to be very uh, clever in your approach in not only realizing your worth, but realizing your value and understanding that you don't have to Stay in circumstances that are taking away from your happiness, taking away from your integrity and just uh, diminishing your sense of purpose, right? So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the energy of the new individual coming into your life. I'm also going to be looking at, you know, some of the lessons that you need to learn in this situation. Apart from that, what does this new love have to offer to you? Where is it leading to and what can it bring into your life? You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day. Take care.